All right, let's head into Toys R Us. Apparently he gets lost in space. Stupid skeleton Batmobile. <laughs> Oop, they do have the Hobgoblin. This is where all the NECA stuff is being kept. They used to be behind glass. Go figure. Enigma Montoya. I didn't know they sold manga at, at Toys R Us. They gotta put these guys on sale, seriously. Uh, Rhinox. Uh, oh, what? I want to give a huge shout out to all my Patreon and channel member supporters. RyRatCan33, Old IT Guy, Princess Kagali, John Joker, Michael Traverso, Christopher Herndon, Snell World, Thomas Meyer, Budrick Porter, and Joseph Michaels. Thank you for all your support, everybody. It really means a lot to me and really does help the channel to keep going. Okay, just over here at uh, Whippy Toys R Us, I'm going to pop in here and see what they got. Wish me luck. All right, let's head into Toys R Us. Lowest prices of the season. Hmm. Yeah. We'll see about that. Always great to be inside a Toys R Us. Ooh, that's something big. Huh. Got some DC diecast vehicles here. Check it out. It's a tumbler. Oh, that stupid skeleton Batmobile. <laughs> yes, that is the greatest Batmobile ever made. Oh my god. How much are these things? It doesn't say. They're free. No, $10 each. Okay. The original Batmobile from the movie. Sorry, from the television series. And... What was that again? Was that the upgraded tumbler? I can't remember anymore. Yeah, it still looks good. And that, uh, that crazy Batmobile from uh, the movie. Justice League. Crazy. Cool. All right, let's keep going. Over here by, just over by the Mega Constructs and Marvel area, uh, they're starting to push the Buzz Lightyear movie. I saw the new commercial, it's actually pretty cool. Apparently he gets lost in space and shows up like, I think it's like 40 years later or something like that. Pretty crazy. Yeah. The designs are nice. I do like the designs. They actually look pretty cool. Zyclops and Zerg. Interesting. I wonder what the lore is actually going to be about. I guess we'll find out. This is cool. I do like the exosuit. It's pretty neat. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. it looks like a pretty neat movie. All right, let's keep going. Oh, there's more here. Wow, what is this? That actually looks like, you know what, believe it or not, that actually looks like Captain Powers ship. The one that pilot used to, uh, to pilot. <laughs> I don't know. Somebody might have something to, uh, sue over Disney. This deluxe figure is pretty cool, too. Forty-four ninety-nine. Ooh, that's not so cool. Holy crap. That is one expensive vehicle. This one, too. Thirty-one ninety-nine for a freaking truck? Come on. Yeah, we got Mr. Incredible here. Hmm. Frozone? Is he gonna say something? Come on, Frozone. Man, Frozone always fails me. Uh, how about this Frozone? Yeah, he's dead too. None of these Frozone work. They're all dead. They're defrosted zone. Okay. And we got some Green Goblins, some Spider-Mans. Ooh, that Iron Man gauntlet finally came in. Which is way too expensive now for anybody to afford. You gotta be kidding me. $179 for this thing? Who's gonna buy that? Not me. $42.99 for Shrek? Oh my gosh. You gotta be kidding. The price is just getting stupid now. $33.99 for Loki. Okay, so these ones are the only reasonably, and by I mean reasonably, I mean that as a stretch. Loki, Loki, Loki. $36.99 for Hercules. $36.99 for Tiger. Oh, they finally. Nope, it's still Hercules. Tiger's still another th $3 more. Yeah, all the Fantastic Fours. Just crazy. Cersei. They gotta put these guys on sale. Seriously, the only one I'm thinking about is Thena, and that's because, like, she's the Target and Walmart... Uh, sorry, um, Target and Toys R Us exclusive, so you can't get her anywhere else. Oh, God. This is crazy. There's some clearances here, but, <laughs> again, not much of a clearance. Over here, we have the Black Widow. Oh, they finally got the... Th the Love and Thunder Wave. Here's Gore. Cool. So I'm wondering when that was going to start showing up. Another Professor X. Captain Carter. Captain Carter. Saw the movie. If you guys watched it, that's an interesting 
Wow, that's a lot of Captain Carters. Holy crap. Hopefully they'll sell. Modular Iron Man. Shadow Cat. Dark Star. Rogue. Arcade. Magneto. Cyclops. Modoc. Come on, Modoc. You gotta go on sale someday. And seventy nine ninety nine dollars 99 for Hydra. Oh my god, look at these prices, guys. This is crazy. $40. $34 to $40 for a freaking Marvel figure. Come on. All right, guys, let's keep going. All right, over here we have Optimus Prime, eh, Rhinox, eh, oh, Studio Series Cup. What? Wow, he looks good. Oh my gosh, there's two of them here. How much is he? Oh no, $49.99. He's 50 bucks. Come on. I'm going to have to scan it in and see if that's true. Ouch. That's crazy. Oh no, core, that's core class? What? $34.99 for core class? It is Cliff Jumper too. What the heck is going on? Are you serious? Thirty-four ninety-nine for a core class, guys. What's going on? That's just stupid. I'm gonna have to scan these two in, see uh, see what they come up as. But yeah, cool to find Studio Series Cliff Jumper and Studio Series Cup here finally. All right, I'm gonna scan these guys in. Hopefully they show up at Walmart. See, this is what a core class is supposed to be priced at sixteen ninety-nine. Like, what are they talking about? Reissues of Swipe and original um, studios, uh, move, uh, yeah, eight six studio series um, cup. So again, interesting, crazy. Whole bunch of selects, those uh, Transformers crossovers, which will never sell. Uh, who are these guys anyway? Transmutate, transmutate. What's transmutate? I have no idea. I'm gonna have to look that up. Artfire and Nightstick. Oh, okay. I have no idea who those guys are. DK2 Guard. And Lift Ticket. Crazy. We got a ton of them, though. Alright, guys. Let's keep going. Alright, let's scan these guys in and uh, see how much they actually are, because it can get confusing. So, Cliff Jumper here. He is... Oh, my God. forty two ninety nine for Cliff Jumper? Are you kidding me? Oh, my God. That's crazy. And how much is Cup? Oh no, this is scaring me. I think it's the same though. Yep, $42.99 for Cup. Holy crap. Man, can you believe these guys are the exact same price? Ah, damn. I really need Cliff Jumper though. I hope he comes to Walmart, because honestly, that's way too expensive. Alright guys, let's get out of here. And over here by the Power Rangers, pretty much the same stuff we've seen before. Man, $90 for the Foot Soldier and Raphael 2-pack. $90 for the April and Michelangelo 2-pack, and $90 for the Donatello and Leonardo 2-pack. Don't get me wrong, they look great. Seriously, they do look absolutely incredible, but for that price, I'm going to have to wait. Like, that's just, that's just crazy. Seriously, that's, 40, that's $45 a figure. Oh my gosh. Andros, Mighty Morphin Blue Ninja Morpher. Mighty Morphin Black, Ninja Morpher, Ninja, Ninja, you can tell I don't really watch that series at all. Red Squad A, there's a white ninja here, yep, that's Tommy, right, and the pink ninja, ninja, right there. Ooh, yeah, they got, they got, uh, Piranha's Head, uh, Piranha, Piranha's Head, Piranha's Head, cool, not so cool, 60 bucks, holy crap. I guess it is what it is. $49.99 for the Pumpkin Rapper. Eh, some other Ranger toys. WWE. There's Nia Jax. No chase. Oh! Nope, no chase today. Just the regular ones. Yep. Roddy Piper. Mustafa. Everybody else that we've seen before. Yeah, nobody else really standing out. AEW. Riho. Jake Hager, Ray Phoenix, MJF, yeah, Riho, 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 it's a whole J-pop band, Riho, 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 oh my gosh, literally, it's nothing but J-pop, Hikurishida, 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 Riho again, Hager, MJF, Hager, Hager, Jackson, yeah, Shida, 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 and Frankie Krasarian, and MDF, yeah, that's it. All right, guys, let's get out of here. All the Ghostbusters still thirty six ninety nine. Jeez, Louise! None of the kids, though. That's unfortunate. 
they do have one kid, which is of course Phoebe and her dad and her grandfather. Always cool to see them. Ghostbusters Ecto One. Uh, that seems to be about it. Over here by the Master of the Universe section, pretty much the same stuff. Panthor, Land Shark, Flock Panthor. Uh, some of the giant Netflix versions. Savage He Man, Battle Cat, Wind Raider. Look at those prices! Holy crap! Oh man, twenty nine ninety nine now for Clamp Champ, which is unfortunate. Oh, classic Skeletor, seventeen ninety nine. It's not that bad. Evil Lynn, Faker, Skelegod. Ninety nine dollars for Castle Grayskull. Still too much. And oh, there's the Pantor cycle. Haven't seen that yet. Cool. <laughs> Kind of disappointing though. They should have actually had a real, a real um, battle. Uh, sorry, Panther. Anyway, I guess it is what it is. All right, more Marvel Legends. I think that's it though, guys. A couple of Fortnite stuff and some Sonic stuff. All right, let's get out of here. Wow, the DCL seems to have either shrunk considerably or they cleared up most of it. DC Direct, Deceased, Green Lantern, DC Direct, Black Suit Superman. I did find out that these are actually being, um, they're not made by McFarlane yet, but they're actually being, um, uh, what's it called, managed by McFarlane. Kind of crazy. Yep, Batman the Animated Series, still twenty nine ninety nine. I really got to take advantage of that because this guy, he's pretty expensive at, um, at GameStop, actually. Lex Luthor Power Suit, no throne. Lex Luthor Other Power Suit. So you gotta get the deluxe version, the gold version for the throne. We saw that the other day. Yeah. Nightwing, jo Deceased Joker, Lobo, Bruce Wayne. Ooh, that's a new one. Holy crap. Superman Black Suit, but I think this is the comic version. Nice. That looks pretty cool. Very cool. Yep, New 52 Superman, Superboy Prime, The Flash, yeah, and all the Batman tie-ins. All right, guys, let's get out of here. They're selling books here. <laughs> it's all manga, I think. I didn't know they sold manga at, uh, at Toys R Us. Look at the size of those Berserk novels. Wow. Collected anthologies, sorry. Crazy. Akira. Nice. Soul Eater. Very cool. Awesome to see that they're actually selling manga here, but it has parental advisory warnings. Smart. Ooh, Sailor Moon. Nice. They actually have the whole anthology of Sailor Moon. Very cool. Harry Potter diecast stuff. Very neat. A lot of Migos stuff here, too. Very, very cool. They gotta put that on massive clearance. 2238, that's not bad. Those Donatello, those Leon, um, sorry, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and Cobra Kai tro crossovers, kind of weird. And the Princess Bride. <laughs> Love these guys. Awesome. I'm gonna start collecting them later. Gear out the Rivia. And the Wall of Pops. <laughs> All right, who's the interesting to take a look at? Anybody? 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 Okay, here we go. I'm gonna just cop out. And so, Cobra Kai, Cobra Khan, that's right, I copped out, what can I say? Evil Lynn's there too, sweet! Not gonna buy any of these guys. Oh, come on, Mojo Jojo, he's the only one who actually makes sense. Anyway, it's cool, let's get out of here, guys. Hey, the checkout aisle, this is kind of sad. <laughs> they have Amiibos here, but right below it, this is where all the NECA stuff is being kept. They used to be behind glass, go figure. Fifty four ninety nine for all these, um... Fugitoids, there are no rare ones. Nothing signed, as far as I can tell. So yeah, nothing nothing so spectacular. $89.99 for Rat, King, and Vernon 2-pack, which is always weird. There's Griff, Tannen, always cool to see him. Coraline, Coraline Pizza Monsters, Toxicity Now, Glow in the Dark, Metalhead, and if you want to build your army, here are the foot soldiers. And we even have Ultimate Ash. His his cameo in Doctor Strange was classic. Alright guys, let's get out of here. 
Uh, some things are still behind glass. Mighty Rock Steady and Mighty Bebop, I think. I can't remember. And the Ninja Turtles 4 pack. Wow, look at those prices. Insane. All right, let's get out of here. It's always great to visit Toys R Us uh, here in Whitby. Uh, unfortunately, man, that is one crazy price for uh, whew, Cup and Studio Series uh, Cliff Jumper. I'm going to have to hope and pray that we get them at uh, Walmart because right now I cannot, absolutely cannot grab them here at Toys R Us. All right, guys, I'm off to the next location. I'll see you there. Okay, I'm just over at uh, Pickering Town Center. I'm going to pop in here and see what they got. Wish me luck. All right, let's head into Pickering Town Center. Okay, let's head into GameStop. Oh, check it out. There's the 20th anniversary Iron Man. Saw him the other day, but I yeah, don't see him very often. Very, very cool. And very, very expensive. Yep, $42.99 with the edge. Crazy expensive. Astroform, Doctor Strange, Sleepwalker, Despair, America Chavez, two of her, three of her actually. Crazy. All right, let's get going. Hey. hey guys, do you know if you've got any new Master Universe figures in by any chance? Um, I don't think we've gotten any today. Have you seen any? We have some. I don't know if any of them are the new ones. I'll show okay. you where they are. Sure. Oh wow, we just got today. Nice. Um, but awesome. I haven't seen any other ones. I'll take you over to where they are. Though, sure, thanks. Awesome. Well, guys, mission accomplished. I was able to find Clawful from the latest wave of Masters of the Universe Origins. All right, guys, I'm off to the next location. Wish me luck, because I think the next wave is here. All right, see you there. All right, well, they have a few things here, but nothing much I'm looking for. A lot of Demon Slayer stuff. Naruto. I do like these Seven Deadly Sins from McFarlane. I'm actually very impressed by the way they're doing it these days. Escandor there. Dragon Ball Z. Love those two different hangs. They look amazing. Got them both already. Wow, new sets. I do like those Mario figures. They are cute. They are neat. Just not something I'm collecting right now. This caught my eye though. Check it out. It's a time turner. Wow. That's crazy. 15 bucks, not bad. Pretty cool. A lot of cool Harry Potter stuff here. Even got a lenticular for uh, Sirius Black. Very cool. Nice. A couple of other figures here. I do like this uh, Batgirl. Looking very neat. Nothing else that I haven't seen though before. Shawn Michaels. Nice. There's Baloo again. There's Rick. But I think that's it. Oh, the Dread Pirate Roberts. Never gonna tire them. Alright, let's get going. There you go, my friend. Thank you so much. Alright, thank you. Thanks. Bye bye. All right, guys, second stop, and we picked up Anti-Attorney He-Man. Sweet. All right, we're going to have to take a look at all the pickups today uh, when we get back to the lair. All right, guys, I'm off to the next location. I'll see you there. All right, guys, I'm just over here at uh, Markville Mall. Uh, I'm going to pop in here and see what they got. Wish me luck. All right, let's head into Markville Mall. All right, guys, I picked up uh, one last piece of the puzzle tonight. It is the uh, uh, Horde Trooper. So great. The guys over here at GameStop are the best. Guys, support your local stores. They really need your help. All right, guys. I'm uh, back, heading back to the lair. Let's see what we picked up today. Sweet. All right, guys. It's been a couple days. Uh, <laughs> a lot more hunts. But I did want to do a recap on those figures that I picked up a couple of weeks ago. So, yeah. Let's have a look at the newest wave of Motu figures that have actually arrived in Canada. Let's have a look, guys. All right, guys. Uh, <laughs> always uh, have trouble getting these things together, but it's huge because these just have not arrived in Canada, and this is the first time we've ever seen them. So let's have a look, guys. The first one out of the bag is, oh, yeah. 
anti eternia he man wow honestly i had to hunt long and hard for these and it, if it wasn't for the help of the hunter group that i'm with this would not have been possible huge shout out to everybody over there nelson guys really appreciate it this is awesome anti eternia he man yeah he was uh i believe he he origin originated out of germany uh mini comic from there yeah but they made him into the mythos so yeah he looks great first saw him at PowerCon last year so it's amazing to finally get a look at him here. Wow, he looks crazy. Love the sculpt, love the look. Sweet, so glad that we were able to get this guy into our collection. All right, so there's the first one down. Oh, ho, ho, ho. yes, it is Clawful, awesome. That's crazy. I never had Clawful as a kid. Uh, bubbles a little, little bent here. Let's see if we can push that back. Yeah, there we go, that's the way it's supposed to be. Yeah, never had Clawful as a kid. Um, yeah, he looks awesome, holy crap. He's got that really crazy uh, psycho stare, <laughs> that gap, that gap between his teeth. Like what? Crazy. He's literally a lobster man. Like insane. Look at the size of that lobster claw. What the heck? Awesome. He's got a tiny little claw on the other side too. He he he. Little tiny claw. Yeah, he looks sweet. Oh my gosh, love this guy. He's got the uh, buzz off feet. So great. Awesome to finally have Clawful in my collection for the very first time ever. Yes, ever. Just so amazing. And the last piece of the puzzle. The one which I've been trying to get forever. I never, ever owned this guy in the wild. Oh my gosh, it is the Horde Trooper. Yes! Oh my gosh, this is crazy. Never had the Horde Trooper as a kid. Always wanted him. Could never find him. He was just too popular, I guess. So yeah, I love the breakaway features. I love everything about the evil Horde. So amazing. Oh my gosh, this is crazy. You know what? I should take a look at the back of the cards, right? Yeah, I love the artwork back here. We got Power Punch He-Man. He's the next in the line. This is going to be so great. Love Power Punch He-Man. He's already been announced. So amazing. You can read that at your leisure if you want. Mini comment concluded. So great. The only one in this line that I haven't been able to find is Sun Man. He's the last piece of the puzzle for this line. As you can see, everybody else is there. All they, they And they always keep re-releasing He-Mans and Skeletors. Go figure. Still... So great to see these guys. Let's just take a quick look at Clawful again. Yeah, Clawful is taking on Tila. Awesome. So great. Oh, who's that? That's Whiplash. Yes, Whiplash is coming. He is coming. This is awesome, guys. So great. <laughs> Always wondered about that little uh, green uh, weapon he's got. It's practically useless for him. He's just a weapon in himself. And then we do have anti turning He-Man. Now, this is kind of funny. It's just literally a, rep uh, a repaint. or uh, Sorry, it's not a repaint. What am I talking about? No, it's an actual brand new illustration, but it's the complete opposite of what He-Man has on his backing card. And it shows the anti gray Grayskull there. Just absolutely epic. I don't know much about the character, but honestly, he looks awesome. Look at that negative, negative sword. So great. All right, guys, this is awesome. So, picked up these three. Last week, so great to finally showcase them here. They look awesome. Sweet. <laughs> Guys, it's always a great time when you find Motu in the wild. Oh my gosh, this is so exciting. I really do hope that this line continues well into 2023, hopefully into 2024. We have a lot more characters to keep going, guys, and I'm really, really excited about this. Uh, I'm really hoping that I get a chance of getting one Dar. Hopefully that'll be a thing. It's been showing up in California, so I really do hope that uh, we're going to get a chance. Guys, if you enjoyed this episode, please leave a like. It really does help me out. I hope you guys are all doing well, staying safe. And as always, everybody, thank you very much for watching. <laughs> we have the power, everybody. We have the power. Geek proud.